Hello all and welcome back. I'm on level 40 Shadow Knight named Novax. I'm out in Firion of Vi, wrapping up level 40 Hell Level. This is a great place to level, by the way. There's all these drill, drill vargs, and I turned in about 36 canines already. You turn in four, and they're really good experience. I think I'm back up to eight canines to turn in, so if I can gather four more, we can finish off this level really soon. 79, now 80% of the way through. Let's get some of this loot out of the way. Unfortunately, a bard showed up. Oh, look at that. Let's give... We're going to loot this. Oh, I'm overweight now. What do you know? I'm overweight. So I told my pet to take a seat, and I'm going to grab a couple more of these drill vargs. They're giving me about 1% experience per kill. Most of them are blue. A bard came through here and rounded up all of them. Like, literally rounded up every single one of them. Uh, but they're starting to repopulate again. I want the Snarlers because they're blue. But in Hell Level, you get about 1% XP per kill. I could stay here and level one more time, actually, and it would be pretty good. But I think if you're level 40, this is the perfect zone to come and level in. You just keep pulling them, and you pull them right to this area. Just grab a couple blue ones. If you're lucky, you get a bunch of fangs as well. I'll send my pet in. Throw up Heart Flutter. I like to refresh Engulfing Darkness right towards they get to me. So it's refreshed. That way they don't run off the cliff when you get them low life. So he's got two dots on him. The skeleton at his back. Me at his front side. And we're just going to pummel. Let's get some music going. It is now Wednesday, 11.20 a.m. I've got the day off. And I want to play EverQuest. All right, got my white bat audio playing. As you can see, there's not too much difficulty with these. They're not casters. You have to be careful sometimes that you don't get ads. They can wander a little close to the cliff, but keep them towards, towards the edge and you'll be fine. Some classes don't have snare, so you have to be careful. They will run off the cliff. Don't go chase them off the cliff like I did one time because the only way to get back up is way over there by the bridge. I tried to use Shadow Step to see if it would port me back to the top side. It threw me way out in the ocean, so I was like, no, not trying that again. So now at 81% XP, let's kill a couple more of these and let's get close to that level 41. Okay, I'm back up. Let's try to grab some before this bard. Oh no, that's not the bard. I thought the bard was grabbing a bunch more, but it looks like they're Ganging up on this guy, this pilgrim. Well, dang it. Let's see if we can split them up here. I don't want to get them all. There's a snarler. All right, we'll pull a snarler that's coming this way. No, he's, we'll get this set. Anyways, one of these snarlers is going to come over here and fight me. All right. They are fast runners, so it makes it easier to have some kind of long range pulling or a snare. I tell the pet not to taunt and just to go in there and pummel him for a little bit until this guy reaches me. I'll throw up Heart Flutter to have my third dot spell. Let's see if I can recast it. Engulfing darkness. Perfect. Yeah, at this point, I just hit auto attack and I could just tab out and look at my internet. I'm surfing the web or I'm reading comments or message boards or whatever. check my sound. I'm afraid the sound's going out on me. Lost so many videos to that. 
Appears to be working fine. So what I like to do sometimes is when they turn to flee, like so, I'll just cast a couple life draws on them to regenerate some of my life back. I get 45, 45 hit points every time I cast this. Two cast kind of puts me back up to where I want to be. Three, I'll be over 80% life. That's nice. Just like that. And I always tell my pet to take a seat afterwards so he doesn't follow me out to the action. But I can go out and grab another one right away. So easy. This is a savage. Uh, I'll wait on that. See you guys in a second whenever I get some pools in this area. Alright, let's pull this other one. I happened to get lucky and find him right after he was fighting this fairy and his life is really low. So I don't have to do all that much work. Got him dotted, snared, and uh, send the pet in. Super easy, this one. So this level, hell level, it actually is going pretty quickly if you find a really good area to grind in like this one. I would totally recommend this at level 40. Other almost comparable, pretty close, would be the over there. You can, you can do very well in the over there. I think what makes this one... They're about equal, honestly. Um, I do prefer the look of this zone. It's got a more vibrant blue skies as opposed to the over there. Which is a much more gloomy zone. Let's grab another one real quick. There's a growler just up ahead. I don't even have to use all my tricks like vampiric embrace and fear i just don't need to and in between fights there's i think it's safe enough to sit at the very edge that you can go afk i would turn the volume up definitely so in case you get attacked you can run back but so far at the very edge over here i've never been attacked just stay close to the edge of the cliff all right when i get to the edge i like to just do a pet go in there Heart flutter. For me personally, just gonna re-throw engulfing darkness on just so they don't go off the cliff. Brand new refreshed snare. So the question is where do I go next? There is the dreadlands, of course. Part of me says I should be out in the over there working on that faction to get the OT hammer. Part of me says that. Where else can I go? I feel like I could, if I wanted to go further into down here, I could do that as well. But I also could probably just go into lower guck. Just in the entranceway to Floor Guck, I think I'm strong enough. The problem is that's more of a grouping dungeon, I think, than a solo location. So going there is a very risky thing, and I don't like to go in there solo. If I was in a group, I think that's a perfect place to go. So if you're wondering why I don't go in there much, that's why. But then there's always Soul B. I've never gone to Soul B. So I'll think about trying Soul B soon. Okay guys, let's see. I've got 96% on my way to the level. I've killed at least 15 of those things and I haven't got a single canine tooth. I feel like I was getting a lot more of them in down near. Because you can also get them in down near off of the coerced people. But let's see if I have, with the 8 canine teeth, enough experience to level to level 41. See you guys at the guy you turn him in at. Okay, so as you enter Faranavai, you see that statue on the right, just in that Colosseum building. If you just go to the left of it, this building here has Captain... Captain Neelith. If you go to this guy, hop this little lead. Ooh, hop it. And then you get up to him. Open your bags. There, I have eight of them. Hold control, left click, 
give them four of your canines. You can get these in down ear. You can get them in for your of eye. So I'm on hell level 40. I have 96% XP. Oof, that only gave me to 97. I was expecting more, honestly. But I have four more to turn in. Hopefully, I don't think it's going to give me the level I need. Well, I'm at 99% XP. There's a bank here in town, so let's hit up the bank, and I'm going to go out there and get one last kill to get the level I need. Sucks. If you're in Furion of I, as soon as you leave that building, you just go straight ahead, and there's this building here. That's not it, obviously. This guy is not a banker. But, on the other side is another building. And this happens to be a banker building. I think. Yeah, it's the banker. So just to show you off the total tally of of treasure, I've got 1600 platinum saved up all the way to level 40 on this character. I've got a couple items that are nice, like the advisor row. I'm going to give to the mage. A couple items I found that I'm going to give to my other characters. Just a few, nothing amazing, but items. We'll go out there and get the last kill and we'll be level 41. Ding! All right, I'm pulling a pirate. We're pulling a pirate. And there he comes. Don't let these guys backstab you, by the way. They do about 180 damage with backstab. That's a lot. Up a heat blood. And this is going to be the ding. Pretty excited. Getting through hell level 40. That's a grind, guys. So level 40 is my highest that I've got a character on any of my YouTube playthroughs. I have higher level characters, but none of them have gone over level 40. 40 was my record in any of my playthroughs. So this is going to be a new ground breaking achievement. Level 41 ding. Nice. All right. Let's see if we can get our AC closer to 1000 AC. That's a big goal to get 1000 AC on my character. 1720 hit points. Level 41. We did it. All right, throw a celebration, a little quick celebration. Yeah. And let me tell you, my go-to snacks when I'm playing EverQuest is always going to be a drink. But the snack itself is those Gardetto original snacks. Gardettos. Uh, is this guy running away? What's going on? Oh. Anyways, Gardetto's Original Snacks. I recommend them. They go great with EverQuest. I just bought another box of them. It's going to be delivered through Walmart's grocery delivery. I use one of those Visa card gift cards that I got. $50 gift card. I found it. I'd lost it for so many months and then I found it. Applied it to my Walmart wallet and now i'm getting gardetto chips on the way and by the way um tof if you're watching i went to walmart i didn't see those root beers at walmart i did know that note that there is a kroger's nearby kind of out of the way but this friday my sister and i are going to the movie theaters again this time it's my sister i'm going with and on the way back there might be a kroger's on the way back so i'm going to check out that not your father's root beer. See if I can find some. Guys, I'm going to figure out where I'm going to go next. I might just stay here and work up some skills first, though. But we need to go somewhere new. Well, like a castaway, I was washed up on the shores. Let's just say I fell off the boat. But where there's tragedy, we find opportunities. Guys, these spy rocks consider blue to me, and they're everywhere. Let's kill some spy rocks. There's one running over here. Blue. Blue. 
blue. They all look blue to me. A proven. Hmm. Okay, let's get it. Oh, we resisted. We'd only want one at a time, though, so let's be careful. Try again. Wolf. Go in, golfing darkness. Halt. He resisted twice. What is this? Resisted three times. What is this? Okay, fourth lands. That was nuts. And he's beating me. Heart flutter. I don't even have fear up. Oof, I used... Do I need to feign death? Ooh, I feigned death. Never fear we're going to try this again, but I'm going to get a pet. Oh, defense just went up. I, for a sec I thought for a second that my skills were maxed out. We're going to try it again. Something's amiss. Once again, let's kill the Grey Duomp. Vampiric Embrace. I left the Spyrock area because <clears throat> there's some druids over there doing their quadding. So, I'm over here now and I'm heading over to the old world. Honestly, don't know where I'm going. Could be Guck. Ouch, can't see. Great. Waiting on my grocery delivery. <clears throat> Appears my the delivery person is lost. Oh, I forgot to put fear up. Well, great. I'm fighting without fear. Looks like we're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. <clears throat> He's got all these dots on me. Targer's Insect, Listless Power, Scourge, and now in Venom Breath. I've got three dots on him, but my dots are much weaker because I am Shadow Knight, he's Shaman. Shaman's got some really great buffs. I mean, dots. Damn, he's got me down. Let's throw on some, some dots again. Let's throw up heat blood one more time. Start doing some life draws. Boom, there we go. Sap some health from him. I think he's used up a lot of his mana. Yeah, he has. So at this point, I'm just going to do life draw and get his life down. Try to cover some of those hit points. Ah, he's dead. Let's just finish him off. 7% XP through the level. 41. Where do we go? 9%. Excellent. 9%. 2%. That's it. Looks like we're going to have to head over and see if we catch the boat. I was hoping for a cool item, but nope. Okay, now I find myself out in front of Solosec Sol B. Solosec IB. And before I get in there, let me turn on some music, but we're going to go see how things go. All right, the music's going. Let's zone in. Here's the entrance right here at the, looks like the mouth of a volcano. Ooh. I've never been in here. Okay, let's check to see. I am the only player in here. A keeper begins to cast a spell. I see a big, large vault door with Designs on it. Is this, is this just that temple where you? Oh, you don't fight things in here, do you? Never mind. This is like, I read about this place. Or am I mistaken? This is just the temple of 
so huh okay hello keeper so apparently this isn't exactly a dungeon no it's not okay hang on a second give me one second guys so I want to go into Nagafin's lair so I was in the wrong entrance let's get out of here it is a cool location regardless see if I can get back out We're in the Temple of Sol Ro. So we're going to zone out and go into Nagafin's lair. Do you hear the rumble of the volcano? Okay, guys, where do we go? I think I go around. I hear that rumble of volcano. Ah, is this it? Hopefully this one's it. Nagafin's Lair. Really excited about going in here. Yeah, this has got to be it. Here we are, Nagafin's Lair. Seems there's more people in here. There's eight. A greater cobalt at the entrance. Awesome. And he's blue to me. Double awesome. Let's throw on engulfing darkness so he doesn't run away. It's up heart flutter. Let's chip away at his life. It's a kobold. You get these guys in several zones. Popular character model in EverQuest. Oh, he's got a friend. Probably should have thrown up in Empiric, Vampiric Embrace. I shouldn't have used that spell in the middle of fighting. Don't slow down your DPS. Ah, oh, he's healing. All right, this is a little challenging now. Heat blood. Uh oh, I better run. Oh, it's a three-on-one fight. No. We're not done yet. Give me a second to recuperate, and I'll, I'll get myself prepped and ready to go again. All right, let's try this again. Got a pet summoning. Tell him to sit here. Give myself an empiric embrace. If I could just break up this entrance... Bond just a little bit. Oh, crap. So what I want to do is get that room out of the way. Ah. Well, it's too late to figure out what I want to do. We're going to try to take one of them out, if possible. If it's just two of them, I can do it. Pull them back. Heat blood. One of them is a healer. <clears throat> Definitely need to start using my bash. I keep forgetting. So the proc does... Ooh, look at my defense going up. Yes. That's what I need. Apparently defense was not maxed out for level 41. All right, come on, we're getting him down. Oh, no heals, no heals. 9%, okay, that gave me 11 now. I'm surprised they didn't heal up. I don't know why they didn't. So for this one, I need to use Engulfing Darkness. We're gonna make sure this guy does not leave the premises. He is here bound with us. We're gonna fight to the end. Heart flutter. Ugh. And heat blood. I need all three dots going. Because at the very last second, whenever he's low on life and he starts healing himself, that's when I want that extra DPS. 
Okay, here we go. 40% of my life. If we're tied even now, and he's going to heal. Expect him to heal a couple times until we run his mana down. And he's a tough one. Oh, he's still healing. I'm going to throw up Engulfing Darkness one more time. All right, we took the lead again. I don't see him healing. I think we ran his mana down. All right, we got him now. Damn, he's tough. So there's another 2% XP. Sweet. Look at that bronze pauldrons. I like that. And we have a scent of Mar. Okay, so I'm going to have to wait right here. We don't want to go any further yet. Let's wait and build up life. Okay, I'm not ready to fight exactly, but I just want to peek around the corner and see what we have. I'm up to 70% of my life. Just in case I get into a battle, let's go ahead and give myself Empiric Embrace. Alright, let's just peek. Pet, come over here. Please sit right there. Take a look. Oh, crap. Ah! <laughs> My defense went up. Nice. So I don't know what I'm going to do, guys. I, I mean, the entrance is swarmed. I'm going to give myself invisibility. I already lost my pet. Let's go back in there and just take a peek around. What is there around the corner? Oh my god, there's too many. Well, that concludes my adventure in Nagafin's Lair at the time being. I gave it a try. Where else can we go? I think I'm just going to go into finish. I don't know. I honestly don't know where we're going. So it's not that I can't handle the mobs. It's that I can't handle the setup, the spawns. There's a player out here. Moving on. Nagafin's Lair, Saul, I came and I experienced the bare tip of the iceberg. But that's going to end this episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great week. I'll see you soon. Bye.